Have you ever seen a coil-fed rotating head machine? These machines are absolutely incredible. I've never seen a configuration like it. Keep watching to find out more about these machines and how they can improve your small round part productivity. So Greg, this machine, the D2 CNC from Eskimatic, first of all, it's coil-fed. This is such a special machine. This is what Eskomatic is all about. We built our technology based on feeding and working with coil material, not like a standard turning machine. We feed the material from a coil, and to work from a coil, we'll have to have static material. Also, to, for the, the coil system to work properly, we need to straighten the material with the straightening system before we actually feed it into Eskomatic's um, trademark turning rotating tool head. Okay, so we looked at the material, which you've got to start with uh, a good base of material. If you want the kind of productivity that you get from a, a schematic machine, you really need to think of the way the material is coming in. And then obviously, it's all about the business end. Let's talk about the tool head and how that works. Exactly. So, schematic technology, because we're working from a coil, the material is static. So, our technological solution was to have the tools rotating around the material to be able to cut it. So this is a bit like a, a lathe, but a mill, because the tools are rotating, yet it's a turning process. Exactly, but you'll use your standard tool, uh, cutting tools, like on a lathe, uh, you'll use your inserts and shape, form tools, whatever you need. So with this, we'd probably have a turning tool for OD turning, and maybe a grooving tool that can then do the parting off as well. Exactly, the parts will then fall off. Um, typically, the D2 machine, very fast for dowels, small pins, um, there will be running at 60, 70, 80, 90 parts per minute. Uh, cut, manufacture, cut, manufacture, cut, manufacture. And 90 and parts per minute with a 50 kilogram coil, coil. means it's, it's a lot of parts coming off from that 50 meters, but they're, they're, they're coming off so fast that actually, I mean, how long would it take you to get through one of those 50 kilogram coils? A 50 kilogram coil, uh, 1.5 millimeter diameter, small parts will get you through two or three weeks of production. Lights out running all the time. Which exactly. Is absolutely, it's what you want when you buy a machine like this. Yes. And so the, uh, the, the spindle here, what kind of RPM can it reach up to? We can work here up to 12,000 parts uh, RPMs per minute. Uh, any type of material, brass, uh, titanium, steel, stainless, whatever you need to manufacture, it's manufacturable on the machine. So I guess your only problems there are changing the tools if you're using like a hardware material that's exactly. going to abrade away your, your tool tip. Yeah, and to improve uh, uh, machine time, you can set up all the tools outside the machine, slide them on, press start, and hopefully get into production very quickly again. So it's got all the standard parts catching um, capabilities. We won't go too into that because what I'm interested in is this is a completely new machine that I've never seen machines like this before, apart from today here at the Eskimatic factory in Switzerland, just up, up from uh, Nichetel. It's all about ease of use with a new kind of machine like this. Now, quite a lot of people will use sliding heads to make parts like this. How is this easy to use? Now, how is this easy for someone moving over from what is a completely different machine, the sliding head? Exactly. So the way of thinking is exactly the same. The tools are called up in the same way as on a normal sliding head. We uh, simplified the interface. The G-code is working behind, but the interface at the front is all tactile and very easy to use. You call up your tools, you drag them, you give them the speed, the manufacturing uh, rotation speed for the tool head, uh, the cutting speeds, etc. All that by drag and drop, we made it really simple for the users. Which is what I love about this machine the control as well, is on some milling machines I've used before, the, you've got a myriad of buttons for jogging them around. And because the axes, they look quite complicated, but actually there's, uh, there's, the movements are quite simple. There's not a ridiculous amount of buttons to learn, and it's all pictographic. So you can you point and click at what, exactly what you want to do. Load the machine, press start, and hopefully uh, to come back two weeks later and your batch is finished. Fantastic. So what uh, max diameter can you do on the D2? So the D2 is from 0.3 millimeters of diameter up to 4 millimeters. Uh, two tools on this one, one counter collet uh, for uh, really simple high volume parts, dowels, pins, uh, knurled uh, dowels, uh, very specialized high volume so uh, even knurling as well you can do on a small machine like this? Exactly. Knurling, cutting, uh, turning, uh, two tools, like I said, uh, very efficient for big, big volumes. Brilliant. So if you've got, if you've got customers demanding uh, more parts per month and maybe you've only got this much space, look how small this space, this space is you need for 
uh, millions of parts you could do every month, every couple of months. Check out Eskimatic. Get in touch with David Dunn from Premium Machine Tools in the UK and Ireland.